Want to give your window setup a complete makeover going from a basic look to something sleek and functional without installing tons of software like in other tutorials? In this video I'll show you how to achieve a clean, polished setup with just two applications and no rain meter. You'll get a streamlined top bar, a dock-like taskbar, and some incredibly useful widgets. And you even get this way better multitasking tools, so let's get right into it. Before I show you this amazing app, let us quickly tidy up the desktop. First let's rearrange your icons by right clicking the screen and then disabling auto arrange icons. Now you can freely arrange your icons to a position like this. Further we also need to upgrade the wallpaper to something cleaner like this mountain scenery linked in the description. After you have downloaded it, right click the screen and go to personalize. Here select browse and then choose the downloaded wallpaper. If you want a more special wallpaper, you can get a live wallpaper from Wallpaper Engine which offers a wide variety of different backgrounds. For this setup, I chose this minimalistic white background with a unique clock. Now let us take a look at the Sealant Y application which is an incredible customization tool because of its many features. First install it from the Microsoft Store which should be a very simple process. After the installation, the app automatically starts and you can have a first look at the new top bar. Now let's dive in all of the features. First on the general, we can select Run on Startup which you should select unless you want to turn on this application every time you start your PC. Besides that, we can also select different languages and time displays here. But what's more important is that you can also select a custom theme color in this menu. If you click here, you are redirected to your Windows theme colors where you can choose any color you like. For my setup, I chose a green color. On the bottom of this window is also an option to enable some different styles for the taskbar and top bar by selecting these items and moving them to selected. Then you have to hit save, which you have to do every time you make a change. The bubble item puts every icon in its own bubble, which I quite like, so I would advise you to keep that activated. The rainbow effect, however, turns your dock in a mess, so I wouldn't install that. Now let's go to fancy toolbar, where we can customize the top bar a little bit. First of all, you can disable the top bar here and choose between two styles. Besides that, you can make some smaller changes. For example, we can increase the distance of the top bar to the top of your screen. Also, you can choose if you want to hide the top bar when you open some windows. The next menu offers us some controls over the Windows Manager, which by the way is incredible for multitasking. First, you need to activate that feature here. Now we can select the layout for how the tabs should be organized. There are some choices here, but I would recommend the grid layout. Besides these options, there are also a lot of options to further customize your experience by chaining the space between the windows and similar options. For this setup, I chose a space of 5. In this menu, we can further enhance the dock. First of all, you can disable the dock here by switching this button. Under dock, we can choose if we want the dock full screen like this, or just the icons. For this setup, we want the small dock. Also, we can place the dock on different spots on the monitor, for example, on the left like this, or on the top. But in this video, we want to place it at the bottom. Also, we can change if it is always visible or only on hover. Here we want to change to on hover, which gives this effect. Additionally, under icons, you can also adjust their size and animations. Here we decrease the zoomed in size when we hover over it because it looks cleaner this way. Under the wall, you can enable this wallpaper and a slideshow for pictures from your PC, but I don't really like this feature, so we leave it out of the tutorial. Now there are also some more settings under App Launcher and Shortcuts, but they are not that interesting and not important for this tutorial. With everything installed properly, we can now take a look at all of the great features of this app. For example, with the top bar, you have easy access to the system tray, the Wi-Fi settings, the audio settings including a music player, the notifications, and access to the general settings. Besides these functionality enhancing changes, the dock and taskbar also just look really clean and aesthetic, which makes it perfect for a clean and functional setup. Besides that, the Windows Manager is also an incredible tool, because it automatically arranges your windows in a useful position for multitasking, so you don't have to do anything. It can also arrange way more windows than the default manager, which is another pro. All of this makes this the perfect tool for taking notes or other multitasking tasks. To further enhance the functionality of this setup, we will install the second application of this video, Be Widgets. This app is also available in the Microsoft App Store, so download it there. After the download, we can run the file and start creating widgets. The first one will be a weather widget, so select weather here. Now first we place the widget in the bottom left corner. Then in the Customize tab, we disable movement and make the widget unclickable so it stays in place. For this widget, we now have to choose a location for the weather, which you can easily do by typing in your city. Also, you can change the units to your liking. At the bottom of the settings, you'll find options to adjust the background color. For the setup with a static background, I recommend choosing a white color with low opacity. If you're going with the animated wallpaper, try a subtle gray. 
Our next widget is a finance widget which we can create by selecting finance here. Under customize again, enable unclickable and disable movement after you have placed the widget in the bottom right corner. Now under preferences, select the exchange rate you want to track, for example bitcoins. Again, chose the same colors as the other widget. To completely round up our setup, let us also install a clock for the background without a clock. After that, increase the font to 103 in bold so you can better see the clock. Also in the color settings, set the background to completely transparent. After we have the clock, place it in the middle of your screen. Also don't forget to lock the widget in place. Finally, we have everything completed. From the really informational widgets, to the functional top bar, to the stylish taskbar. I really have to say that this setup turned out really well, even though we only use two applications. In my opinion, Seal and UIMB widgets are incredibly powerful applications. They pack so many customization options that normally you'd need three times as many apps to achieve the same functionality. Unfortunately, the Ceiling UI can sometimes use a lot of RAM for a short time, so you could experience some issues. Speaking of performance, feel free to check this video where we took a deeper look into that. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it interesting, please leave a like and a sub.